as you can see, I have this box here. And I don't know if y'all can read this, but it's from Best Buy. So what did I buy best? Well, I don't know, but I seem to have this convenient little thing in front of me. Animal Crossing New Horizons, which actually came out on March 20th. I know I'm late to the party, but that's because I didn't have a Nintendo Switch. Or did I? Now, I think it might actually be in this box. I don't know. What do you think is in this box? You don't know, you got like three seconds to comment in the comments below. One, two, three. All right, any guesses? I don't know, but I got my box cutter, so let's get into it. And this little slip of paper here is just to cover my address because I don't want no nosy bodies coming to my house. Speaking of addresses, I know this isn't really relevant right now, but I did actually go ahead and stop the P.O. box back in October, I think. I just forgot to tell y'all. So thank you for those who actually did send me things, but I ran out of money. Mm, hang on. They sent me, they sent me bubbles. Yes. Oh, look. It is the Nintendo Switch. Light, I should say. I got it in the new coral color that actually came out this afternoon or this morning, whatever you want to call it. But I don't have the money to buy a real Nintendo Switch. So I got my money together, or actually I got mom's money together to buy it for me. And because we're going through this whole thing right now, which I'm not really allowed to say, even though my videos aren't monetized, but y'all know what's going on right now in America, or really all over the world, I need something new to do. I've watched every YouTube video. I've played every board game in my house. I am bored. So I convinced my mom to buy this for me. So I have something to do. And I've been totally obsessed with watching Animal Crossing games lately. Check out Jacksepticeye. I will link his uh, channel description down below. And check out Zach Scott Games, which I will also link down below. Those are the two people that I've been watching lately. But now, let's get into this. Alright, so, she's coming out of the box. Ooh. Insert cheering crowd here. Ooh, look how pretty. Now, I know we are all super excited to get into the actual system. However, before we do that, we need to go over some safety instructions. Well, not safety instructions, but instructions. So here's the manual that nobody really cares about. And how do we charge this? No, no, no. I was right. Well, it's not exactly a USB, but does go into the wall. So you have this port that goes into a wall or a socket and then this I guess goes in one of the ports. And that is it in the box, see? So now I have watched some unboxing videos so I know this works right out of the gate. Now to find the on switch, oh I found it. It's this little button right there you guys. Ooh, Nintendo. Yes. Nintendo Switch. Now, like I said, this is the Nintendo Switch Lite, so the setup will always say Nintendo Switch. Ooh, it's not noise. Yes. And now we're gonna go through the quick setup mode. English, of course. America's, yes. Accept always, because if you don't accept, I don't think it will let you move forward. Searching for networks, meaning internet. 
And hang on just a quick second. You want me to get on the side of you? And, and it is touch screen, you guys. And it's connecting to the internet. Connecting. This can be really embarrassing if I forgot my password while doing this video. And I didn't, look at that. All right, now. What time zone am I in? I'm in Florida. Eastern. Well, I don't have that. It's coming up as city names. Just say Miami or Tampa. All right, you guys. Uh, London. I'm not in London. Oh my goodness. Wait, I gotta find New York because that's usually what it says on my phone. So I am using the left, um, joystick here, but I did tell y'all it is touch screen. Oh my goodness, I'm having a heck of a time. What the actual heck, what time is it? 4.30. All right, so after that little delay, I couldn't find the time zone because it confused me with the wording that it was using, but it, now we can, a user be added to the console. Yes. Um, I don't have any other um, switch things, so I have to create a new user. Are you serious? They don't let you be, oh yeah, more options, there you go. I was gonna say, if they don't let me be Tom Nook, I'm gonna sue them. So these are, ooh, Tom Nook, yes. And then background, everything I do is pink. Even though everything Tom Nook does is green for money there we go look at that because tom nook is forever alone uh can we change it anytime shoot i don't know this is just for like i guess i'll just do what i do for all my social medias Guys, it didn't like me. There you go. That's my Nintendo Switch thing. Yes. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, link a Nintendo account. The system cannot be updated during the initial setup. Please go to home, menu, and select the gear shift. Okay, at a later date, perfect. I don't have additional users. I don't know what that means, so therefore, no. Click this button. Now it wants me to go to this. And shoot, what did it say? System update, there we go. Okay. So I've watched other bo box opening videos of this and this takes all of like two minutes. We'll restart in two seconds. So while that is restarting, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll get this out of the box. Now, you guys, this is a joke. See, I have this big box for that teeny tiny cartridge. Look at that. Really? And what did I tell you? It's back on. Press the same button three times. Perfect. Insert a game or download software from Nintendo Shop. Well, first of all, I want to link my Nintendo account, so... Oops, shoot. Before we play Animal Crossing, which I know y'all are so excited to watch me play, I do need to do this. Let 
that. All right, guys, so that took longer than expected, but we figured it out now. So as you can see, I have my Tom Nook picture and it says your Nintendo account was successfully linked. You can now enjoy the following features. Those following features are friend features, news about games and deals, Nintendo eShop, and posting screenshots to social media. And then if you want more act more info on it, you can click that button, but I'm just gonna click okay. That took way longer than freaking expected, but we're in. <clears throat> so if you guys want my friend code, you can feel free to pause at this point here in the video. And this is my friend code where you can add me. Um, but for now, we're just gonna click home. And now we're gonna get into the really exciting part of the video. Animal Crossing. Insert a game or download software from the Nintendo shop. Well, I have no nails. Can you do that? I have no nails. What are you doing? You have to open this little right. doohickey. Oh my goodness, there we go. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Look at that. A new update is available. We'll be, it'll be downloaded soon. It'll be downloaded now. I don't know what that means. Download, I guess. <clears throat> My goodness, I had no idea. Download a pause if the software being played uses communication features or when software is downloaded. But there's only two minutes remaining, we're fine. We can, we can wait. I mean, I've only had the game for eight days because I ordered this system on the 24th. After I paid the money, I realized that the actual system didn't come out until today. But it's okay, we can wait two more minutes, right? This thing's giving me a hot flash, you guys. But we're just gonna talk about this for a minute. So here's Tom Nook. And there's Timmy, and there's Tommy, and there's Gold, uh, Isabel. I'm looking for Pashmina. I guess she's not on here. Oh, he's a cool dude when you get to him. Forget his name, though. But yeah, you see the inside the case, it says March 20th, because that's when the game was actually released. I got the game on the 24th. The day I ordered the... No, I didn't. Got the game on the 26th. We're good. This is almost done. Oh, yeah, and as you can see right there, it does start you off with a half battery. So, for y'all getting these, you can play your games right out of the box. And this cord actually looks like a pretty good length of cord here. Eh, I'd say that's about, what, three feet, maybe? Mm -hmm. 97, 98, 99, all done! Woo! Selector user, Tom Nook, aka me. And here we go! And guys, in future videos, the gameplay will be much better. But for right now, that's what you're going to have to deal with. <coughs> Good afternoon. We are so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. <clears throat> Welcome to the check-in counter for your des deserted island getaway package. Woohoo! There's so much to look forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy Nook. I'm Timmy with Nook, Inc. 
He's going to be the one with the flag, you guys. Don't worry. <clears throat> and I'm Tommy. The love of my life. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let us get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Let's see here. You cannot change this. This can be seen by others during local-online play, so pick an appropriate name. That's really sad that they had to put the word appropriate in there, though. Are you going to talk every time I type a letter? <laughs> so, because my life also revolves around Taylor Swift, hence the channel name, The Daily Swift, my name is going to be Swift on there. Or S-W-I-F-T-I-E. Swift. S. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. S-W-I-F-T. Yes, we're good. <laughs> Guys, I literally have a tattoo on my body that says Swifty, and I forgot how to spell it. That's going to be my name, though. S-W-I-F-T-I-E. <clears throat> Are you okay with Swifty? The word, the world of Animal Crossing is welcome to all, so don't include personal or offensive words. Oops. Yes. There you go. Again. World revolves around Taylor Swift. Yes, it is. Ooh, actually, I don't want to do that because it gives you gifts on your birthday. So I might actually have to put my real birthday. Yes, it is. We're good. <clears throat> I thought about that for a minute. Let's see. Swifty. Swifty! Let's see here. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a photo of you, Swifty. Don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Obviously, I want to be a girl. Um, let's go there. I think we have to do, oh wait, shoot. What are you? Oops. All right, so now the hairstyles. So we have that one, that one, where we started out, that one, that one, this one, no, this one, this one, or this one. I like this one. What do you mean there's no pink on here? Guess I'll do like the reddish brown, right? And you have all these eyes to choose from, my goodness. I wanna see what eyes we are currently on. Okay, we're on those ones. Oh my gosh, I haven't slept for days playing Animal Crossing, which is probably what's gonna happen, or I'm so scared that I finally bought Animal Crossing. I've gone insane. Or, I'm so sleep deprived from playing Animal Crossing at all hours of the night. Mm. I'll just do those ones and then no, nope, that's too teal. See, I'm not funny. If you guys want a funny video, please go check out Jack Jacksepticeye because he's hilarious. I don't know. How about that? that is that cute? All right. So now, so you only got three options for nodes. You got triangle, circle or rectangle, but I'm gonna go with the triangle. 
You got that small, the one you started out with, not really small, and a beaver teeth. But I think I'm gonna go with this one. And you can do blush or not, I guess. I just choose not to. And, then, and we're back at the beginning. Okay, so how does she look, you guys? Leave me a like. Leave me a like. I don't know where the camera is. Leave me a like if you like it. I have no idea where the camera is. Leave me a like if you like what she looks like. There you go. Does everything look okay? You can change your look later. Yes. Great, you're all set. All set. Just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to our records. And now let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to having them. What I mean is we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home? Guys, I pretty much know the script because it's all I've been watching. So tell me, Swifty, where do you live now? Live now. And again, they only give you two options. I don't know what happens if you choose something else, but I live in Florida, so I'm gonna choose North America. Ah, uh, excellent. The information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we recommend an island. We recommend that you relocate to the island in the Northern Hemisphere. No, nah, you don't say. There are just a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far. Alrighty, well, okay, Southern, or I'm not sure, but I'm gonna say yes. Very good. We have a number of lovely un uninhibited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. So then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. So don't worry whether you'll have enough space, to com space or comfort, you can't go wrong. You just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. And look at Timmy and Tommy being so cute over there. That's how my dog looks. I'll show you some maps now. And you can choose the best one for your new home. New home! Oh, you're kind of the moment of truth, you guys. So, there's all those. They don't have any names yet because you get to surprisingly name them yourself. Hmm, none of these look like the same island from the videos that we've watched from now. Because remember the one had the circle? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And what these little um, squares are in here, if you can see them, is where your house is actually going to be. So, hmm. I think I'll just take this one down here. I like it as a little island thing in the middle there with the little somewhat circle, right? Yeah, I'll just take that one. Yes. Wonderful choice. Choice! I can't wait to show it off to you. And Timmy and Tommy acting like my dog Chicky again. Maybe I should name my dog Chicky. Timmy or Tommy. Uh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could bring only one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? Oh, no. A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, or something to kill time. Hmm. I've seen this question. And these are not the same answers as in the video as I've been watching Timmy and Tommy. Hmm. Well, I enjoy sleeping, so probably a sleeping bag. How interesting. I just, like, got them confused. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Oh, jeez. Nook Inc. will fully cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. Hmm. 
Yes. Chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. That is me. Ah, perfect timing. Come on. Let's all board the plane together. Together. That was the smoothest time I've ever had in an airport, you guys. Let me tell you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. I wonder how many times during this game they're going to say that. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. So this is probably the cutscene that I've been watching, too. Yep. Isn't this fun? guy. Goldie! Tom Nook. My love. Nook Inc. Productions. Yes. Come on, man. Fly your little plane faster. Look at that, I was right. Fly your plane faster, it flew. Look at all the cherry blossoms I have. How oh, nice. Oh, good. I didn't get Pashmina. I have a thing with Pashmina, you guys. We are here. Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Yes! Our fearless leader himself will be given a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. I will go anywhere that Tom Nook goes. We'll be heading there right now. If you'd like to move, follow us. Oh, I'm gonna catch you. I just ran right into you. Move. I'm gonna beat you. I beat you. I beat you. I beat you. I beat you, got here before you did. Nothing happened. They didn't seem to give a care in the world, but I beat them. Look at how majestic Tom Nook looks. Hello, I'm here. Talk to me. Oh, I had to push a button. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Canberra here? Yes. And how about Kevin? Ooh, I got someone named Kevin to live with me. Yes. And there's Swifty, of course. Great. We're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventures our three adventures are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Look at how majestic he looks. Look at him. He's just having a great time over there, bebopping his little head. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook. Yes, it is. I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. I don't know why they repeat everything. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. On this package deal. Hmm... As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. Yeah, okay, sure they will. But first, but first things first, yes, yes. 
I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. Oh no. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate. And, ah, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just start. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please con collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. I'm going to go to Timmy. Like I said, you guys, Timmy's the one with the flag. Oh, that's Tommy. I guess they switched on me. Here you go, Swifty. Your very own tent. Once you find a perfect spot, press X to access your inventory. Then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you want a little breathing room, so take your time to find a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set up you, set you up with a map too. I guess that'd be nice. Sure. I mean, I've pretty much seen the game already. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need to use it. Well, off you go. I'll help you find a great spot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do exactly what I said. I'm gonna move. I cannot run around Tom Nook. Rude. Oh, I could put it here. Oh no, because then the trees delete. And I can't put it too close to the water. Can I drop down to the beach? Yes, I can. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Shade, but I don't want to be that close to the water either. No, I'll just put it over here where I said. Where the heck are we going? Alright, there's they are, okay. Hmm. Yes, how about we go right here? I think that's what I just said the first time. Let's imagine it first. We'll have to do a little landscaping, but we can make this work. Should we go ahead? I think yes. I get plenty of shade and I get pretty trees out my window, right? Or do you not think so? It's a good spot. It's a good spot? Alrighty. Then we'll go with it. Yes. And even better, I didn't spend nine hours looking for a spot. <laughs> like someone I know did. I set up my tent at a big first step. Woohoo! Now back to Timmy and Tommy before the other people get there. Yes. Hello. Ah, Swifty. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent. Hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others still might be searching for the, just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes? Ew, I don't want to help others. I want to kill everybody. Oh, this game is not about helping people. Actually, I'm going to help Kevin any day. Yo, I'm Kevin. You're Swifty, right? It's nice to meet you. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Swifty? Yes. Looks great to me. Think so? Awesome. Okay then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together. If I put my tent here... Pretty cool, right? Yes. Why did I get yellow? I don't even like yellow, first of all. I just noticed his tent is orange and mine's yellow. Ew. All right, looks like we have a winner. I'm going to put down stakes right here and never look back. That was 
really tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. Uh, of course you did. Of course I don't think you have glutes. I wonder how Canberra is doing. I don't care. He might have as much trouble as I was, so maybe you should go see if he needs help. How about no? How about I want to kill all of you? Do not come into my space again. I'm going to win. Of course, I don't really think you can win Animal Crossing. Oh, a stick! <clears throat> Hello, I need to pick this up. I guess I can't pick it up yet. Oh my goodness, I can't find where she went. Where did Kimbara go? Rude is where she went. There's my own house. You're, wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Swifty, right? See, I told you I had it. Yeah, and you're dead. I mean, you're Canberra. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Uh-uh. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to steal for the best spot, but I was, I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I gotta stick and through it. And this is where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know that's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Yes, I like it too. Sorry guys, I had to turn down the volume if you're being closer. Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about it for, let's think about this a little. I'll, if I put my tent here, well, now we're going to imagine it. Why is her tent blue? Come on. Why does everybody get a freaking nice colored tent? Except me. I get stuck with stupid yellow. You know what's yellow? My box cutter knife. It's the only thing that I own that is yellow. Yes, your tent looks great. And mainly because it's a different color. Awesome. From now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's going to be my home sweet home. I can't believe I said I got such an awesome spot. You rock. Hold up, does this mean you help Kevin with his tent too? Yes, of course I help Kevin. Well, you're seriously an awesome person. I gotta be honest, when we first got here, I was kind of worried there were way too few of us. But if we get to live here with someone like you, I can totally rest easy. Oh, everyone else is probably waiting on us, so let's get back to the plaza. Welcome back, everyone. Look at him being all majestic. I love him. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since I'll be living here together, this would be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Canberra, Tommy, and Kevin can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Swifty and I will work on gathering firewood, perhaps, for a little snack. Alright, everyone, let's get to it. Swifty, would you come see me for a moment? Ooh, Tom Nook and I are getting serious. Yes, I get some one-on-one -on -one time with Mr. Tom Nook. Ooh, I wonder what he's gonna do to me. Ah, Swifty, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. Well, shoot. I think roughly about 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So if you find one laying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate in the apple-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real apples. 
What do you want? Why do you have a talk bubble? I appreciate it if you'd hold on to any weeds you pull up while you're gathering branches. In the near future, we'll want to buy them from you. Sure. Oops, that's X. Shoot. I'll get my weeds on. I'll get my weeds on. You know, I don't know why Animal Crossing is for 10 years or for everybody. You know, they're asking you to go out and pick up weeds. Uh, nah, -uh. no, thank you. And sorry if you keep seeing just my hand. Um, person who was filming had to go home. I don't even know how many I freaking have. Oh, wait, I do have 10. Oh, goody. I'm gonna try to play left-handed here for a minute, so if you can see my hand cross over, sorry. Seven. That's eight. I'm gonna stick my trees all day. I'm sticking my trees. Ooh, nine. I'm gonna stick my trees all day. Ooh, ten. Look at that. All right, you gathered up ten tree branches. Please talk to our boss, Mr. Tom Nook. Well, I want to talk to you. Get the use of a talk bubble. Any tree branches you find on the ground or shake out of the tree to work just fine for a campfire. I don't know why you have a talk bubble still, but okay. I'll go talk to my boyfriend, Tom Nook. Ah, oh, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches. Very well. Also, allow me to lighten your load. Yes, yes. That should be plenty for our campfire. You made... Quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such hard worker too. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you're collecting ranges, I'm evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they even taste like apples. They must be oranges! In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine apples, so you collect six of them for me? Now, I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. If you see a tree growing apples, you can press A to shake it. Shake, shake, shake. I already shook my trees. Then just pick up the fruit. I'm sure you'll have plenty of apples for us all in no time. I already shook my trees. I already know how to shake my trees. You can move out of my way. And there's three. I'm gonna go stick more trees. Apples are real delicacy. How fortunate that they grow in abundance here. Really? That's all you had to say to me? 
eating apples and drop standing in front of the apple tree full of fruit. Already knew that. Oh, shoot, that's why he didn't. Move, Kevin! Holy shoot! Move out of my way before I shake all the trees in this world. I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those apples off your hands to get started on the preparations. Yet yeah, then I hand him one freaking apple even though he asked for six. Okay. Great video game logic here. Sure. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Allow me to properly welcome you to New Island. I have participated in many adventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen, whatever that means, and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? No, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means you'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with this hard work or perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? And look at that little face! Austin's a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spite of bureaucracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, right? So take this time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. All right, you guys. So I've had eight days to think about this, and I really only started thinking about it yesterday because I kind of forgot. So I already named myself Swifty. Hmm. Let's see here. All right, guys, after much consideration, I've decided to make this my island name. Red for Taylor's album, which is my favorite album of all time. It's the, I love everything this woman does, but this is the only album that I can listen to forward and backwards without skipping anything. And an island just because we live on an island. So yeah. let's confirm. Are you okay with Red Island? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. Alrighty, I got that, thank you. All right, is everyone ready? Let's, let's try saying our, our ideas all at once. Yeah. While I try to turn up the volume. Ready, go. Uh, no. Look, it's really... What a splendid variety. Yes, each one a potential potential gem. Now for voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Swifty seems to have the enthusiasm and naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Swifty suggested... Red Island. You better like it. Yeah, Kevin, play it. That's right. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. Look at Tommy, though. He's just clapping. He's holding the flag, so I'd like to know how he's clapping. Look at that bozo. Oh, look at this Tom Nook just being all majestic like. I love this man. All right, enough making fun of the animals. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Red Island. Yeah, you better. Oh my gosh, look at his face. I love him. Okay. 
Okay, sounds great. Absolutely, it rocks. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Red Island. Yes! Well, Swifty. Since you've proven yourself by naming Red Island, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you our resident representative of Red Island. Oh my god, look at him! Swifty, can you please say a word or two as a new spokesperson for your neighbors? You can count on me. Hmm, so we settled on a name for our island and we selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Look at this. I just love how they all reach in their freaking pockets. Like, they magically have something. Everyone have a beverage in hand? Yeah, they have a beverage, and Tom has alcohol. Oh, oops, never mind. It's fresh juice made from apples. A new resident representative harvested on this very island. Now, without further ado, a toast to Red Island and the happiness of its residents. What the heck is going on with Tom? What the heck is going on with him? Why does he do that? Cheers! Alright, so do I just like... So if you're having a good time, yes. I know this is all a bit much. You feel like taking a short nap in your tent. By all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that or I'm not tired. Yeah, I think I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your new tent before you lie down. You don't say. I mean... Because, I mean, if you really wanted me to lay on the ground tonight, I would. But thank you so much for giving me a freaking cot. Because that is so kind of you. But it's only going to rack up my bells. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting for you in your tent as well. Hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. Yes, I'm already going to be docked at 49,800 bells. I know. To open packages and use things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. Got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Swifty. Yes, sweet dreams, Swifty. Alright, so I'm back at my tent. I'm in my tent. I'm in my tent. Look at that. Ooh, what did I get? What did I get? A radio. And what did I get over here now? Ooh, a lamp. Yes. So finally, after I figure out how to place this stupid camping cot, Welcome Horizon is currently playing. Turn on or leave. Turn off or leave on. I'm going to turn it off because it's honestly giving me a headache. And then I'm going to. Climb in bed. Rest my head for a little while. Rest or stay awake. I'm gonna rest. I'm getting sleepy.
and then this is the iconic part of the video. Looks like you've decided to make your own way into the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. So that's all the way, right, Daddy O? You don't need to live by anyone's ruins but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there is a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a, a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squareville without some pals. Yeah, man, friends your words say it. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rabbi I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig up this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise is the best palace. That's pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. Cool. Swifty! Are you in there? Oh, I hope I'm walk you abruptly. Then why are you shouting my name? Ah, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more of a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to your new life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Ooh, what is it? A knife to kill you? Oh, it's your very own Nook phone. I have these made especially for our island residents. That only costs you 100 bells. And I want to make sure it's working right, so if you could try turning it on for me, huh? Welcome. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Why is it green? Okay, feel free to put it away now. Don't! Doesn't this place know anything about me? Everything I do is pink. Say, Swifty, have you ever used a smartphone before? Hmm. Sure, Abe. Very good. This should be a breeze for you. In fact, these mic phones are rather easy to operate than ordinary phones. Oh, yes. We simply remove most of the features. I have one more thing for you. My bill! Yes! It's your itemized bill. So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Because why wouldn't it uh, include my Nook phone? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Hmm. I feel like I said that a few seconds ago, too. All you can say is okay. Yes, yes, well then, wait! You don't have any bells. Oh boy. Can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you could pay all your fees with miles instead of these standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Red Island. I dare say the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. 
and you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you'd need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. And I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining in the program. Now, if you excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. So let me hereby congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Nook of Red Island and a client of Nook Inc. Yes, my love. Oh, she's so happy. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in this operated screen. You can also save and quit your game after pressing the minus button. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my day one of playing Animal Crossing's New Horizons on my brand new Coral Nintendo Switch system. Um, for future videos, please remember, like I said earlier, the quality will be much better as I'll have a better way of recording it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is just a one-time bad recording. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.